All right, guys. Um, I'm here to make an updated video for you guys, showing you guys um that the unit works great. I've definitely uploaded um my uh, Google Play Store and everything to this. Um, the device has been working perfectly fine. I've had it for about a week and a half. Um, I've had zero issues with this unit. Like it's been giving me no problems. Um, I've done the updates or whatever and everything, and it still works great. Somebody asked me, um, I'm going to be answering a couple questions that you guys have asked me in the videos and stuff like that. Um, do you lose the middle speaker, the center speaker up here on the top? Yes, you do lose that speaker because when I hear music and stuff, I don't hear any sound from that. Okay, um, there's no sound coming out of that speaker, but it doesn't kill the sound that you get from the interior speakers. Um, the sound that you get from the interior speakers is a lot louder, a lot crisper, a lot clearer. So me not hearing the center top speaker doesn't really affect me. Um, does the factory subwoofer still work? Yes, it does. This one implements the factory subwoofer um, harness and everything still works correctly for the subwoofer. And it actually has settings where you can go to um it's not control uh settings and you can go into sound and then go to subwoofer and you can actually change the subwoofer volume you can actually adjust the subwoofer volume the low frequency and the high frequency to actually turn up the bass for the subwoofer so that works that was one of the questions that i was asked um does this unit have android Auto or Apple Play? Yes, it does. Um, what you would have to do is, I'm gonna put a link down in the video description of the vendor that you can buy it from on AliExpress. Um, that link will take you directly to it so where you can purchase it. Um, it does, it's a dongle that actually connects to this unit and it'll allow you to have Android or Android um, Auto Play um, on your unit. Okay, then, uh, does it have expandable memory? Okay, so what it does is that it has um, it has two USBs here on the side. Well, it has a USB port. It says um, USB 1. It says USB 1, and then there's another one that says uh, USB 2. So I'm guessing this is what you can use to expand your memory. I'm using, a, a, like I said, a... SD card, no, not SD card, uh, USB memory. I'm using that to expand my memory to make my memory a little bit bigger than what it is for this unit. And you can also put um, movies and stuff on it. I want the USB in this unit to read it, and then you can watch movies through the USB stick. Or if you wanted to download music videos and put it on the USB stick and plug it in, it'll play the videos here on the screen for you when you drive. Um, another person asked me, does the video cut out when you drive? No, the video doesn't cut out when you drive. When you're driving, the unit can stay playing. The unit is not for you to watch while you're driving it. It's for your passengers to watch while you're driving. Do not watch the screen and drive, okay? Um, do you lose your XM radio? Yes, you do. You lose your XM radio. But for all the things that you're going to be able to do with this new unit now, you're not even going to need XM radio. You're going to have Spotify that you can actually go to the Google Play Store and uh, download or... Um, it, it, it's just the possibilities are endless. Somebody asked me if you can go on and play, um, download Pokemon Go and, you know, drive around and catch Pokemon and stuff. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't recommend that. But somebody asked me that. That was somebody in the comments that had asked me, uh, can you play Pokemon Go? Yeah, you could. If you wanted to, you can, you know, pull up, you know, to an area, not in the middle of a park or something, but pull up and, you know, catch Pokemon on your screen and stuff like that, you know? But, um,. I just wanted to put that across. Um, does this unit have an equalizer? Yes, it does. It has an EQ. Let me see. Right here. Okay. So with the EQ settings, um, it has EQ settings right here. You have standard, rock, soft, pop, hall, jazz, and cinema. These are all different settings that it has. And then... It has the surround sound settings for the speakers. Then it also has bass enhancement, uh, refresh rate, you know, in hertz, and front and rear speakers, bass filter. So as you can see, this unit does have a lot of different things to it. 
just showing you guys how to kind of navigate through it a little. I'm still learning. I just wanted to answer a couple of these questions. Um, I do. I did forget to show you guys this feature. It is a split screen feature that this unit does have. Um, so if you hit this button right here, it'll go to split screen. And you could basically split exactly what you're doing. Like say, uh, I'm going to go on YouTube, right? And I'm going to hit split. And it'll split the screen. So I can surf the internet on one part of the screen. Let me see what we got here. So you can watch YouTube on this one, right? And you can actually surf the internet on this one. Let's say go to Yahoo. So this is pretty awesome. It's allowing you to do multiple things at one time and you can do it from the head unit. Okay, I wanted to show you guys that. Um, let me click all this off. I am still using the Wi-Fi off my phone because I'm waiting on the phone card to come in so I can install it and show you guys um, that it works. There's something else I want to show you guys. Um, yeah, this dot. See, it has the different settings. It has so there's like a quick button here. It's like home. You just hit that little dot on the screen and it takes you home or the settings or the split screen or the map. And then I saw something else here when I was just playing around with the unit. Um went to settings. I think it was sound. Was it sound? No, I don't think it was sound. I don't think it was storage either. See it shows that this is a storage. I'm using 11 gigs out of 64 right now. And then this is the portable storage which I have connected, which is the USB. That one has 2.85 megabytes used out of 32 gigs. So I can also store stuff on the USB instead of storing it to the device's storage itself. So the USB does function and it does work as showing here. Okay, then we have the apps that I've downloaded. The only thing that I've downloaded was Prime Video. Um, if you want to download games, you can. Then we have wallpapers, live wallpapers. Then we have different settings here. Where we have press any key to start the unit. Break wire for video in motion. So I guess this is to connect. If you connect it to the break, Auto start navigation, it'll auto start when you boost and uh, start the car. Uh, mute audio while reversing. I hate that. I like my sound to be working as you go in reverse. Um, when you get the unit, when you do go in reverse, it will go to the back camera mode and stuff like that. The way to turn that off um, is sound um, reduction when reversing. It was on 11. I turned it down to zero because I want to hear my music while I'm going to reverse. I'm tired of it cutting out. Um, then we have mirror view on reverse image. So when you go in reverse, it'll automatically go to uh, backup camera, um, backlight control, um, default volume switch, GPS mix, um, lantern settings, automatic loop, sound scaling. These are different options that they have. Steering wheel settings, Navi app, and you can set a automatic app for what you use um, when you go and uh, use internet. Okay, so then we have Nutra settings here. I don't know what that is. Then we have the location. We have security. Then we have backup and reset. Then we have um, date and time where you can go to to adjust the date and time. And then accessibility, developer options. Then it tells you about the device. This is Android 8.1. Okay, CPU, internal X, octa core 1.8 gigahertz. Memory, 64 gigs, Bluetooth version. Um, blink um, dash 2161 it has no serial number okay then let's go to developer options hold on let me see there was no password here before I don't know what that's about so a whole bunch of different little options that you go to and definitely can do a lot of different things I wanted to make this video for you guys because um, a lot of people ask me you know how about these options and things? So I'm just here to answer some of your questions. These are the AC controls that are here. 
this is to turn the AC up this is for the volume I mean to turn the speed so right now just turn the AC on this turns up the speed of the blower this slows down the speed of the blower then they have different options where it can blow on your feet automatic here and it's all touchscreen and you can still use these buttons these buttons still work to up and turn down the blower and then this one for the heat to go up the temperature and everything to me this unit is a go um basically say if you're using the gps um the gps will basically be here on the screen it's pretty cool like the gps will still stay here on the screen like wherever you're at it would stay here and then um the ac would stay here and if you was on the phone with someone their number would be right here in case you were calling someone on the phone to talk to them this unit's a go i say go for it purchase it it's a great buy um it's amazing i'm gonna put a link down in the video description um if you guys have any more questions feel free to ask them to like share subscribe and comment peace